the final leg to Darwin is upon us, but with dramatically fluctuating title changes, it won't be such an easy task. Plus, we reminisce of the incredible moments and friendships of this journey as we prepare to say goodbye to one of the crew. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface and see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. like a smaller species of nose I don't know which one it is. I, I think uh, usually we, we see the bottom nose. Dolphin, and I don't know, this one is like uh, less than one meter long. That's that cute, huh? beautiful. This playful pod are dwarf spinner dolphins, found only in Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. Much is still unknown about this species, but what's clear is that they loved riding Sylvia's bow, traveling along with us for almost an hour. Scientists have many theories to explain this behavior, but it might be that they've linked humans to food. Boats are a good source of fish scraps, and it's an easy steal. Or maybe it's a means of traveling long distances with very little effort, harnessing the force of the wave and even propelling themselves faster than they can swim. But the most likely theory seems to be related to the idea that some of their behaviors are simply for enjoyment. They seem to be very curious creatures. When a boat crosses their path, they come say hey and possibly stay to play, leaping, twisting, and jumping out the water. Spinner dolphins are especially talented at this, with the capability of performing multiple rotations in a single leap, reaching heights of up to three meters. And it's hard not to wonder, can they tell we have just as much fun watching the spectacular sight? I know, that's awesome. It's uh, the, good, the perfect way to start uh, the trip. Yeah, let's see. I think uh, I have good vibes. I, I think it's going to be a really good trip all around until Darwin. One day, 24 hours. Yeah, we're going to slow down. We're yeah. going to be so fast. Yeah, maybe. This yeah, because we, be the problem, yeah, the problem is that we have to be at a certain point when the, the entrance of the, of the bay, I'm going to say you, Van, Van Diemen Gulf, we have to be there at 6, 7 a.m. So we are, it's not necessary to go very fast. Too fast, so let's see. Lunchtime. Lunchtime on the lean. That's always a good time. Do you want to tell us what we made for lunch? So we're making little tuna poke bowls um, with toasted sesame seeds. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one of Norea's recipes, and this watermelon shockingly tastes so much like tuna. And yeah, you just make little chunks of watermelon, and you make a nice marinade for it, like soy sauce and other goodies. That recipe's on our website. Oh, you can find that. And it's gonna be tasty. So we're on the road to Darwin now. We've routed out pretty well what we think the right passage is. Darwin is famous for its like uh, crazy currents and tides. Uh, some upwards of like six knots and you know 10 meters or so. So first off, here, we're right here, Darwin is down here, and uh, we have a strong current over this cape, and then we have a strong current down in this channel. And so we have to make it uh, during the correct tide changes. Just passing Cape Don over here on our port side. And then after this, uh, it's kind of like the final stretch to Darwin. and. Um, so we have a little bit of current going against us. Uh, not much though, maybe like a knot coming against us. And then about an hour, that's gonna switch. And we're gonna ride that current. And then it's all about timing for the next one. The next, uh, it's gonna be in the morning um, tomorrow that we really need to make sure that we time that one right. But um, yeah, I'm just here to talk about like the last month with this new crew and, and um, how it's all been. And I gotta say like I'm, Pretty, pretty excited about how it all turned out. We really get along really well, and I couldn't have met, asked for like just a better 
eclectic group of individuals that really, I feel like, bring out the best in each other. Just seeing uh, people's confidence in scuba diving has uh, been a real fun experience, as well as everybody, like, you know, really learning the lines of sailing. We've laughed until we've cried, we've cried until we've laughed, and everything else in between. So, um, when we get to Darwin, we're hauling the boat out, doing about a month worth of work on the, on the hull, and doing a lot of projects just to get her ready for, like, the journey forward. It's been, um, it's been an amazing month, and, um, can't wait to see like how things um, pan out in the future for us. So yeah, that's been um, that's been my experience. And I couldn't. Uh, I actually I'm on shift. I haven't touched the wheel in like 10 minutes. So perfectly balanced sails. Nice wind right on the beam. Beautiful sunsets coming. And I couldn't ask for like a better last sunset sail before hauling her out. So. Mwah. Beautiful sail filled with dolphins, sunshine, and reading. When I was first uh, joining the crew, all my friends and family were asking, like, oh, are there any single guys on the boat? I was like, yeah, you know, this isn't the love boat. I'm not going on the sailboat to find love. I'm going to sail and scuba dive and have an amazing experience happens to be someone who tickles my fancy, then, you know, go with it. And then we got a new crew, and we were six girls and six guys. And, you know, I always feel like when you have coworkers, you probably shouldn't date your coworkers just in case there ends up being any drama. You don't want things to get awkward. Yeah, towards the end of it, some people started to get a little more friendly than others and ended up, uh, having a little fling with somebody the last uh, week and it's been really fun to just have somebody to kind of cuddle and uh, you know hang out with on the boat. It's really been nice to share the stargazing moments, cuddling with somebody um, and so yeah just enjoying it going with the flow. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing that jive, uh, but we were overpowered, so we're gonna put some um, sail in to reduce the power and then go to our next destination. We were so fast. Fun. We were like almost 10 knots speed. Yeah, super fast. You just jive, right? Yeah, and it's pretty gnarly out here. But we just made our jive, and now we are heading directly in the, the uh, direction of Darwin. It is about 11.30 p.m., almost midnight. Um, I tore myself and Flo, a man in the ship up here. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd make us a little snack for the, before midnight here, and we're gonna have some nachos. Ta -da. Ta -da. That's so lucky. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, Ryan, can you leave it earlier? I said, ah, no, I'm gonna have some. Some stuff, I think, some stuff here. He's a literal, he prepared some private nutshells for us. <laughs> yeah, for my private stash. <laughs> Magic stash, like, suddenly I could smell something going on. Like maybe he's making some noodles or something. And then suddenly I made you something. And it's like, okay, <laughs> personal nachos. And bon appetit. Good morning. Good morning. We spent the night outside. It was such a beautiful night. I live with Windy, 
but the, the sky of stars. is full of stars, shooting the stars, and... It's a long time we didn't sleep outside since Salomon's, and it's, uh, we really like it. Yeah. Yeah. And before getting to Darwin, I think like this was our last chance to be out of the grid and you know enjoy like being cold and putting the blanket on top of us yeah. and just wake up to the sunrise. And that it's like stunning as always. Like the colors here, I think they are impressive. It's like vivid orange, red, yellow. It's just stunning. Yeah, so we are going to keep on enjoying the, the sunrise and hopefully you too. See you later. Good morning! Our last sunrise sail. Sunrise sail. Beautiful, almost in Darwin. Then we're on the mast, finally. Finally climbed the mast for the first time. First time and probably the last time. After four months on the boat, I finally climbed the mast. <laughs> I, oh, I just looked down for the first time. <laughs> the first time I climbed the mast was only like to that one. And I just realized this one's way taller. <laughs> It's pretty high. <laughs> About to make all the girls flows dating in Belgium jealous. <laughs> Like a sleeping beauty today. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Floyd's on the mast, enjoying the sunrise. Ah, oh, good. Ooh, the whole crew is up. That never happens. Everybody seems very excited, but I'm sad that this uh, leg of our journey is coming to an end. Um, it's just been such an amazing month together. And. Um, yeah, filled with high highs and low lows and you know, minky whales and mooring lines snapping in the middle of the night and heartbreak for me and um, everything, all the emotions, all the feelings, uh, the amount of things that have happened in this month is just crazy. Um, so. It's definitely uh, going to be a trip that I'll remember. Come through the Torres Strait. Ah, to Darwin. Hands to Darwin. What a, what a journey. What a ride. Yeah, I am. Um... Ah. So it's like a whole new chapter opening for me. And um, as this one comes to a close, it's... It's... Um, it was scary, but uh, gonna be okay. And um, the world keeps turning, and be okay. The last sail before getting to Darwin. Yeah. What's our wind situation? We got ten knots on the beam, so we're hoping we can sail right in there. Okay. We got past all the like really big uh, current spots, so I feel pretty confident and comfortable that we can just do it sl uh, slowly. Yeah, slowly. The perfect sail coming in. We got it right here, going a little bit upwind now. 16 knots, and we're just sails are perfectly balanced and we're just flying in. It just feels good to like come in like a bat out of hell. So we see Darwin in the distance. It's a way bigger city than I think that I was expecting. Uh, I think like 150,000 people or something like that. Big tall skyscrapers and um, right for getting in trouble. That's probably what's gonna happen. Here we go.
that's what we're getting going. We've been cruising around eight to nine knots. Yeah. And yeah, we can see Darwin on the horizon and it feels so sweet. The man that wanted to be away from the passengers. No. The passengers. Yeah. I know, I fell asleep during <laughs> I, was, I thought it was going to be exciting. I thought I was like, oh man, there's going to be a big passage into a big city. It's going to be a lot of traffic. It's going to be a lot of traffic. You know, what's what's the situation? And we're in the deserted we're channel. We're in the deserted channel. You saw two boats on this big channel. <laughs> but we did do the tides right. Oh, uh, so great. I'm pretty happy. happy. I'm proud that. of you, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a good, good job. plan. Perfect. <laughs> so we're almost at Darwin, and I've just been thinking about how beautiful this last month has been. I really signed up to become a crew member with no ideas or expectations on how this month was gonna be. All I knew was that we were sailing from Cairns to Darwin and I had no idea what was gonna happen in between from A to B. And honestly, the adventure itself has exceeded all my expectations that I ever could have had. I really did not expect such a crazy, intense, nature-filled adventure. I don't know what I expected, but this is better than what I expected. So it's really beautiful. I just feel like I've learned so much in such a short time. When I came on board, I did not know how to sail. I didn't know the first thing about sailing. And now I feel pretty confident in that. And I only had 10 dives before, and now I've done my advance, and I'm a way more confident diver than I was. But above all of that, I think the most beautiful thing has been the people. It's just been such a unique way of connecting with other human beings. like. We're isolated out here, there's only us. You really get to know people and you really get to see every side of everyone, but there's beauty in that, you know? Not sure what Darwin is gonna hold for me. I don't know what's gonna happen from here. I don't know what the next chapter is, but let's see. What's special about the, this arrival to Darwin? What's uh, happening? It's my last sail. No! Sad. My visa is expiring, so I have to fly home. And it's sad. She's not leaving, I'm kidnapping her. Pissed <laughs> <laughs> away. She's staying here forever. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully I'll be able to meet up again somewhere else in the world. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get have a married. Second yeah, yeah. So I can live in Hawaii and you can live in Spain. Yeah, Nuria needs her green card, so. <laughs> and then I get a European passport, so it's a win win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the sun rose over the valley for the first time in a while. It feels like a new dawn is breaking, and I'm free to laugh like a child. I'm gonna lower the anchor. Feels like to be right where you're meant to be. This is a new beginning. Yeah, this is just a start. We, we made, made it to Darwin! Next time on Expedition Drenched, we get the least drenched we've ever been as we haul Sylvia out onto dry land for another round of Pimp My Boat, where we give her the biggest makeover yet. Then he woke up with a dream and was like, my shorts. And I was like, your shorts, your shorts are on. Uh, my sh shorts were floating away, so... Terror attack. <laughs> Put your pants on backwards. <laughs> That's how I do. Show me. Come closer. Come closer. Show me your wrist. The magic done. Man. Come closer. My coffee. My coffee. <laughs> your coffee. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you, but enjoy. This is. Sunrise sessions with Flo right on the masts from Sylvia SV.
Welcome to the show. Ah, <laughs> Dolphin!